top 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards of all time. Coming in at number 10, we have Skull Servant. Skull Servant has been the official mascot of Konami and Jaden Yuki's ace card for the last 20 years, so it's no wonder why he's on this list. Who could forget the part in the anime where Cyrus Truesdale summoned this guy and beat the absolute shit out of Rex Raptor? Truly an iconic moment in Yu-Gi-Oh history. Also, he's able to get to 1 billion attack, despite what it says on the card. Uh, and I saw this on Team Summer X1, so I know it's real. Number 9, we have The Wandering Doomed. The Wandering Doomed has been the primary antagonist and rival to Skull Servant because the cloak that he's wearing is green, and Skull Servant's favorite color is purple, so they don't, they don't really get along too well. And as you can see by his text, he is a monster that aimlessly wanders in search of enemies. And I'll never forget the climactic moment in the sacred cards on the Game Boy Advance. As he was searching, he ended up finding and killing armed ninja. And I was like, holy shit, this is a good game. At number eight, we have White Baking. This guy has been chilling, grilling meats on the flaming pile of leaves for generations. My man been cooking chicken, tri-tip, baby back pork ribs, Ooh, damn, look at that shit, god. He even published his own book and directed the box office hit movie, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. That was until... <laughs> tragedy struck. White Baking was on a plane to Manhattan that was hijacked by terrorists. Everyone on the plane was scared for their lives. And when all hope was lost, White Baking stood up amongst the crowd pulled out his flaming pile of leaves and started cooking the best deep dish oven pizza anyone had ever seen. And as it turns out, the terrorists were just hungry and deep dish oven pizza was their favorite food. So after an amazing pizza lunch, they agreed to land the plane safely and everybody was happy. Uh, that was until the plane accidentally caught fire, killing everybody on board and then turning white baking into a burning skull head. Number seven. Burning Skullhead. Number 6. Lady in White has been enjoying the same cup of tea for the last 12,000 years. No one really knows if she's ever taken a sip yet. But one thing's for sure, she better hurry the fuck up before that spider crawls into that cup and ruins the entire cup of tea, I'm just saying. Number 5, we have White Mare. Much like Lady in White, White Mare is an avid tea enjoyer. And unlike his female counterpart, he wastes no time in enjoying his tea. Look at him. It looks as if he's actually going to drink the cup of tea, ranking him higher than Lady in White. Also, he's got a funny looking haircut. Coming in at number four, we have Orcus Symbol Skeleton. Woo! Yeah, woohoo! Where my Orcus players at? Hello? Where you at? Uh, in reality, I have met one Orcus player in my entire life, and I super polyed the shit out of him after he tried to scythe lock me and he hasn't played the decks since then. Although Orcus has not seen as much competitive play, you can still find Orcus Symbol Skeleton making music on SoundCloud under the alias Skeleton. Number three is none other than Ghost Trick Skeleton. For no other reason than that it reminds me of uh, Grimm from the Grimm Adventures of Billy and Mandy. And that was my favorite cartoon growing up, so. All right, guys. Before I reveal the next card on this list, I want you to know that I saved this spot for one of the most iconic monsters in the game. This card has appeared in countless episodes in the anime and is recognized to being one of the strongest monsters for its time. I'm sure the answer is obvious, so I want you guys to say it with me. Ready? Three, two, one. Skull Mariner! <laughs> This pirate ship has been the strongest ship to ever sail the seven seas! And any ship that dare oppose the Skull Mariner will be joining the rest of his enemies at Davy Jones' locker! <laughs> Before we announce the number one Yu-Gi-Oh card of all time, here are a few honorable mentions. What the fuck?! Now I know what you're thinking. What's more iconic than Skull Servant, more skilled than White Baking, and more powerful than the Skull Mariner? There's only one card that tops them all. That's right. Coming in at number one, we have Blue Eyes White Dragon. Blue Eyes White Dragon is known to be one of the strongest and most iconic monsters. <laughs> what, you think I'm stupid or something? Blue Eyes White Dragon, more like Brick Eyes, no effect idiot dragon, am I right? 
the real number one Yu-Gi-Oh card is the Phantom Knights, baby. Woo! Let's go, Phantom Knights. Best deck in the format, baby. First place, 12-man locals, baby. Let's go.